And without further ado, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's me, it's Billy Lee Daniel, Billy Lee Dammit Johnson, and we're here today doing a special review specifically for Michael. A number of years ago, I guess, Michael went to Arby's and it was terrible. I can relate. <coughs> Once upon a time, I swore to never eat Arby's again, along with Wiener Schnitzel. It's garbage, or it was. <coughs> However, fast forward X many years, probably like 10 years since I last had Arby's. You know, I've heard that they have a, a new CEO, and um, they're just like, they're, 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 <laughs> they're about their shit now. They're on a new different game. Revamping the ingredients, revamping the menu. Today, we are here to try three items. Um, ah. We're gonna be trying out the smoked brisket sandwich, the buffalo slider, and the um, PCS sandwich, which is, it's like pecans and, fuck. Oh. It's like, a, uh, so pecan chicken sandwich, yeah. So it's got pecans and chicken. So it's like a chicken salad sandwich. It's like a special chicken salad sandwich. Um, also with today's episode, we're going to be, you know, just to make things interesting, we have ourselves a rehydrated ghost chili pepper. So I'm probably going to, once I start getting into the brisket, I'll probably, I'll probably dive into this. Over here, we got a, we got a pile of money. This is just a pile of about, about $800. That's, that's just there for looks. <coughs> um, yeah, it's great to be here with you guys. I got an entire 40 ounce with a giant mug to put it in. This mug holds about exactly 40 ounces. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that 40 ounces of, uh, did you know that a 40 ounce is three and one third beer? So if you're ever wondering if you drink a 40, how many beers have I had? You've had three and one third. Now I'm, uh, oh, oh. Okay, so now, where are we gonna start first? We got the slider on top, so. Small bites, big flavor. It's kind of just like sitting in there. It's like sitting in the thing of fries. Take this guy out. So that's a buffalo slider. It's got a little bit of spice to it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half. Just so we can get it a good cross section. Nothing to write home about in the cross section. <clears throat> Cheers. Hmm. Okay. Getting some just classic buffalo, buffalo uh, sauce flavoring with that. <clears throat> Nothing super special, but really not bad. Um, if I were to say anything, I would say like, it's not like super juicy tender chicken or anything. The, um, like the breading aspect of it was pretty, like it wasn't hard, it didn't cut the roof of my mouth, but like the breading was kind of hard. Like it was, uh, anyway. Nothing super special, not bad though. <clears throat> I'm only gonna take one bite of that because there's a lot of food we gotta get through today.
up next. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this sandwich. It's in a pouch, a blessed pouch, or a, a wrapping. Oh wow, yeah, it's just, it's just wrapped up. Ooh, this is not a bad looking sandwich, at least from what I've seen here so far. So, this is what I discovered upon opening it. Like um, mm. there's like grapes in there. Interesting. I found one of the cons. I brought the knife. I'm glad I got the knife because I actually thought this would be cut in half, but. Not cut in half. <laughs> this is a more impressive cross section, definitely, than the slider. Whoops. Uh, down the hatch. The um, pecan chicken sandwich from Arby's. A lot of good stuff here, honestly. Like, it isn't too salty. There's like a whole bunch of stuff going on with like the different fruits, like the pecan, the grape, maybe there's like apple in it or something. Um, the lettuce, mayo, but it isn't like a seasoned, overly seasoned mayo. Like the mayo, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like the mayo is just picking up all the chicken, all the, all the other flavors. I'm gonna take two bites of this. Mm. I mean, this is just fresh, dude. Like, it's like a really good chicken or tuna, tuna fish that somebody would make that has like, I know like Katrina and her mom, they put apple, like little chunks of apple in tuna fish. And this reminds me of that, kind of. This is really good. Michael, I'm not just being a dick. This is really fucking good. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's worth eight bucks, necessarily. Like, we we could definitely make a sandwich better than this, but like, I'm happy that this was served to me. Like, um, okay. So I have to break this video up into segments. Whew. Yeah, I like that it's not over seasoned. Now, am I, is that a nice way of saying that it's under seasoned? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> lastly, we have we have the. Um, it's like the smoked, smoked brisket sandwich. Now this is the honky boy. This is, where, this, is where our, this is where our grease and our cheese is coming from. Yes, yes sir. <clears throat> I mean, it's tender beef. On the website, it alleges that it's 13 hours smoked brisket. 
And I mean, and initially from what I'm getting here, this is really tender meat. We're gonna cut this guy in half too. Okay, so now this is the portion where we start working in the, uh, the ghost chili. Maybe this is where things get interesting. We're gonna take one bite of this. Mmm. Okay. Michael, the food is good. This is not bad. Like, not bad at all. This is really good. I don't know what I ate. <clears throat> Dude, the last time I had Arby's, I was in the fucking Navy. <laughs> and I just remember like getting some of it one night and then we went back, like we got a bunch of it and then we like went back to the ship and we I woke up the next day and like tried to eat some of it and it was so unbelievably inedible. And this is for like a drunk 20 year old Billy, dude. Like I would have eaten anything. And uh, it was like soggy and gross and like the liquid cheese. So this isn't anything like that. This is amazing. And um, so yeah, I, I'm glad I didn't miss out. Dude, I'm honestly, I, I, I honestly recommend you go get one of these items. Maybe not the slider, that's nothing to write home about. But like this chicken sandwich or certainly this uh, brisket sandwich are, are bomb. Okay, so now that that's done, uh, we're gonna be kind of going bite for bite until this pepper's gone, and we're just gonna see what happens. Uh, <clears throat> um, I wish I had like a like a saying, like a slogan, you know, three, two, one, shoe nice, I guess. About half of it. And yeah, it's pretty spicy. Fuck. It's not like total destruction yet, but. Ooh, it slaps. Another bite. Oh my god. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, it's pretty spicy, dude. Oh, he's got one more. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. Dude. Uh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Billy, describe the flavor. Uh. Uh. Oh. oh my god, dude. Uh. It's a little hotter than I expected. Dude, it's really spicy. Oh. 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 What the fuck? I think it'll pass. Oh. Oh. Dude. Okay. Oh. There's a significant amount of physical pain. Oh, dear. Oh. Uh, uh. 
How's this for the fucking wood chip chunk? Oh, it hurts to talk. Ugh. Ugh. Dude. It's great to be back, folks. Ugh. Oh, my God. Ugh. subsiding a little. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> I honestly wish I could talk more, but it hurts. It's been a while since I've had an opportunity to have a little eating exhibition. Uh, some exhibitionism with uh, the heat. Not so much the... Uh, the food quantity or the time in which it has to be consumed. Oh, dude, I'm getting the pepper stoned now. It's really a thing. Taking a bite of a pepper like that, it's kind of like, it's kind of like jumping in. <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of like skydiving or something, you know, like, like you jump. And then once you're like, once you step over the edge, you're like, you're just in it, you know, like, it, it, it doesn't stop until you get to the bottom, dude. Like, if, until you pull the parachute and you float back down to earth. Once you step off the airplane, you're falling from the sky, you know? And that's what it is. Taking a bite of a pepper, dude, like, you take that bite and you're falling from the sky. Ugh. Holy shit. There really is something borderline kind of like therapeutic about that. Like, I feel stoned. And I, and I haven't even smoked yet, but I'm about to. Thing is, the uh, the pain in my mouth has not subsided completely, and I can't imagine this weed smoke is gonna this hot burning weed smoke is gonna help. Oh. Whew. Michael, <clears throat> there's your Arby's review. <coughs> uh, uh, it's been a pleasure. 